Today we'll be expressing 2 times the log base 9 of s squared times t all over 3 times the square root of u in terms of logarithms of s, t, and u. Our first step is to break up the numerator and the denominator. Since the numerator is being divided by the denominator, these are broken up with subtraction. That makes this 2 times the quantity, the log base 9 of s squared times t, minus the log base 9 of 3 times the square root of u. Next, we can break up what's inside of the logs. Since they're being multiplied, we can break those up with addition. This becomes 2 times the log base 9 of s squared plus the log base 9 of t. Now we'll be subtracting this whole quantity, the log base 9 of 3, plus the log base 9 of the square root of u, because it all belongs in the denominator. Now we're going to take care of the coefficients in front of each term. We'll write our exponents as coefficients out front, and we need to remember to subtract both of these terms. So this becomes 2 times 2 times the log base 9 of s plus the log base 9 of t minus the log base 9 of 3 minus, and now this exponent of 1 half is written as a coefficient, minus 1 half times the log base 9 of u. Now we'll distribute our 2 in front to each term. This gives us 4 times the log base 9 of s plus 2 times the log base 9 of t minus 2 times the log base 9 of 3 minus the log base 9 of u, since 2 times 1 half is 1. Now we'll be simplifying our third term here. Note that 3 squared is 9. So what we're doing here is we're taking the log base 9 of 9. Now this is equal to 1. So we'll rewrite this in our final answer as 1. This gives us 4 times the log base 9 of s plus 2 times the log base 9 of t minus 1 minus the log base 9 of u. This is as simplified as we can make our expression, and this is our final answer.